Well, sometimes during storm events, when you have a culvert that's underneath the road, it gets clogged with extra debris and the water has nowhere to gush but over top of it. This unoccupied blue vehicle was stranded after being surrounded by the sudden rush of water flowing over the roadway in Fletcher's Lake, Nova Scotia. The strong winds accompanied by rain howled all night in Halifax, knocking down everything from compost bins to basketball hoops. City crews were kept busy cleaning up the mess of broken tree branches on Duffus Street. The morning rush was more like a crawl with power outages impacting traffic lights. Some students were sent home early after power went out and temperatures dropped. See all that down there, that's all muck. Cheryl Ward's home in Sussex, New Brunswick was inundated with rain. She thought she was prepared by having five sub pumps running, but water still managed to seep into her basement. Oh, wow. Two doors down is Evelyn Sparks, whose basement is completely flooded. The town announced on its website it will be setting a number of dumpsters in place on impacted streets for residents to dispose of flood soiled household items and tree branches. Next door in Quebec, over 180,000 Hydro Quebec customers were left without electricity during the storm's peak, with many schools there forced to close. Back in Halifax, the ferry service that was suspended due to high winds has since resumed, but be sure to bundle up as temperatures plunge and drive carefully on roads covered in water. Well, you can see the road behind me just flooded out, but that's not stopping vehicles from driving through. It's very dangerous when, you know, you think of the soil beneath being loose and a sinkhole could form, so you want to avoid roads that have water gushing over them.